Okay, Mark, here's your next question. It's worth £16,000. Who preceded and also succeeded Clement Attlee as Prime Minister? Was it A, Harold Wilson, B, Anthony Eden, C, Edward Heath, or D, Winston Churchill? Uh, I'm going to phone a friend. Who are you going to phone? Uh, my dad, Bruce. Okay. Does he know his politics? I hope so. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's give him a ring. Hello? Hello, you're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Ah, uh, I knew he'd call. Is he on the first question? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> no, no, he's not on the first question, but he does need your help with this question. It's worth £16,000. Right, OK. OK, you've got 30 seconds to ask your dad the question. Your time starts now. Dad, who preceded and also succeeded Clement Attlee as Prime Minister? Was it A... Oh, God, that's so easy. All right, well, what is it? I can't believe you wasted a lifeline for a question as simple as that. All right, OK, well, well, what is it? Do you know who would have got that question straight away? What is it, Dad? I'll tell you who would have got that question. Jason. Oh, here we go. If he was on this show, he'd have picked up a million without breaking sweat. No, well, he was a very smart man. If you, if you could just... He wouldn't have answer... wasted a lifeline on who preceded and succeeded Kevin Attlee. I mean, for God's sake, everyone knows that, you... Well, could you tell me then, please? I'm, I'm, I guess I'm... that was always the difference between you and Jason. He always excelled at everything he did, and you... Uh, you were just always playing catch-up. Yeah, well, Jason's dead, so... I wish it was you that paraglided into that electrical substation that day. Yeah, well, it wasn't, was it? So who's the smart one really, Dad, at the end of the day? It's me, isn't it? Because I didn't paraglide near an electrical substation on a windy day, did I, Dad? D. Winston Churchill. Thanks. D. Winston Churchill. You, you just won £16,000.